Blitz training time now. Huh? With these strange, funky name things going on here. Okay, let's go. You know, I did that wrong. <laughs> now I've lost my night. Yeah, I did that wrong. I can't even save it now. Oh, can't even take anything. Okay, let's just move here. He, he let us escape. Take the pawn. Take the rook. that gonna let the time run out oh and they've resigned okay interesting match so this is the blitz trading hour also so just gonna have a look at the analysis like we do he thinks my head is in the way Let's get rid of the arrows. Let's just check in as usual to see if there's any uh, major dips or areas of big concern. It was a massive take fest, so we both were just taking pieces off the board left, right, and center. But then I did get my knight trapped. I had wrong move order. So then we captured, it's showing plus six still, so it's not that bad, I suppose. So we get the check on, then we take, and I'm thinking, mm, that's not good, but there's no major dips there. Oh, there is with the king move. So I panicked for no reason, really. Saying C4, what's C4 gonna do? Oh, I suppose it moves the bishop out of the way so if we go there like that if the bishop did take 
then at least the knight can come here right okay so that was the only way of getting rid of that so that's why it, yeah so it, it was a bit of a problem so that's why it did drop but the opponent let us in because that was the spot that the c4 pawn was going to get for us so we moved the king across so now the, we do have that space but I suppose what, what would happen if he did come back though then we can challenge the rook so I think that gives us space then yes yeah, so if they went here then we could challenge the rook if they want to attack the knight then the knight can come here because got that but I suppose he could go for a pin through but we've got the king protecting so there's no issues there so we could attack the bishop then fine excellent so nothing too much to worry about apart from that king move because my knight was trapped it was an area of concern okay so let's keep moving on so it looks to be playing <coughs> playing sailing after that okay good stuff <clears throat> let's go on to the next one go oh he's captured um might to capture with the bishop bishop for a change usually i take with the pawn Okay, let's go here you know he's coming in here to attack the bishop and I don't have any issues because we always end up we usually end up doubling the pawns anyway so we'll attack the knight and just take here oh he's not actually taken the bishop interesting let's castle bring this bishop back get this pawn here stopping the knight potentially from jumping around he's not interested in that either still bringing the bishop here and just get this pawn here could have actually attacked this pawn actually let's attack this pawn and I need to slow down my talking because I'm going to make a mistake so we capture him bring the bishop back his knight's jumping all over the place well over where tonight so position for my queen needs to be taking place let's go here blocked him because his knight was coming here attacking the bishop and um, simple just take and attack with the rook trying to own the file as we do and they've come back but we've got to be careful he is targeting you know the king area he's got his knight ready and prepared to jump in here let's just give it a little bit of a stoppage here <coughs> And we've made them stop again so we're blocking off the attempts that they're potentially thinking of anyway so now he's doubling up now our bishops all don't really have much protection on can't go there just yet that's a sticky wicket let's bring this knight here can't go there but there Time-wise, they've just gone under, so they're very aware of the time. Let's attack the queen. He's got the pot. Oh, he's got the bishop. Oh, he's missed the opportunity there. Um, so I'm going to have to fashion something and get the bishops out of the way. Yeah, that was not good. That was not good. Could go here. He's got his queen looks a bit messy now doesn't it let's move the bishop anyway because the rook's eyeing it up so that's two mistakes in this game i hope i'm not snowballing we've got them thinking but i haven't this is not a very good position for me it's not ideal we do have this sort of stuff he's attacking the knight Knight can come here, attack the rook as the queen. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> and <clears throat> it's too congested though. <clears throat> we have an extra food to their queen. <clears throat> my god, I'm losing my voice. <clears throat> so 
Let's move the pawn down. Can we put any pressure on this bishop at all? Could take this pawn here with the bishop attacking his rook. And bring the bishop back, attacking the bishop. His knight. Oh, damn. His knight can just move and get my rook. Unbelievable. Damn. God, I can't believe I've done that to myself. <clears throat> oh, he's not done it, but he can still do it. He can do something. Just move the knight. Yeah, he's moved the knight. But he's not actually attacking anything as yet. So, weird, but yeah. Terrible position. Terrible. Oh, he's got a fork. Let's take this off the board. Alakai, well, semi Alakai and gun it. This king's just going to drop. <clears throat> it's got 29 seconds. Um, I'm going to go here. Get the check. Uh, get another check. Uh, try and squeeze in. As we know, rooks don't have any place in the center of the board, <coughs> but <coughs> I think he was going to fashion something. He's still fashioning. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's go here. He's coming around the back. He's coming around the back. He's got my pawn. Okay, come on. Come on, he's only got. Oh, free queen. Free queen. nice 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 quick look at the analysis on that one <coughs> that was very congested um move my wonder why i don't stay on should just stay on shouldn't it yes and let's go back yeah just want to get to that congested bit because i'm i totally messed it up I think twice the opponent could have taken advantage of the bad position that we we gave to them. <laughs> so captured, captured. Okay, just brought that back, so that's okay. Well, it's amazing how the gauge bars on our side here. But felt okay, but it's after this, right? So we we'll come here. We're blocking off the attempt from the knight, developing the knight. Oh, does not like that. Yeah, because I'm giving up the bishop. Yeah, queen can easily just take the bishop here. He's got the rook supporting. So that was one big mistake. Okay, but the letters get away with it. Then the knight comes in. Then we bring the knight up and um, thankfully we had the rook supporting because we were just jumping in and getting the um, rook off the board. Okay, so it likes that at the minute. So we grabbed with the bishop, thought that might be an error, but it felt okay, but then something went wrong somewhere. Yeah, here. So I brought the bishop back, and what could he have done? He could have done something better. I thought he could take, and then he's winning or something, but he did take. No, then he's not winning. What did I see? I didn't see Queen D3 like it's suggesting. Um, oh, it'll come to me later. Yeah, I didn't think it was winning that position, but then obviously they captured, so it made it a little bit easier. Oh, it was the the threat of the knight, wasn't it? Yeah, it was the threat of the knight because the knight could go anywhere. Yeah, and it'd be on our rook. So if he did this like that oh it's um giving us a little bit of a saying rook takes d2 because then we're on his queen i wouldn't have done that <laughs> i would have lost my rook yeah <clears throat> i would have been in a flap i wouldn't have that's why i was like oh i've definitely lost it now so i'd have been searching for coming around here or something like that i would have lost the rook yeah. yeah don't give them much of an advantage but suppose he goes and grabs 
and then I would have been really mad with myself so taking stuff off oh that's a massive loss rook takes and then I've just whipped that off there and he's taken here so he's got like two rooks against uh, my one rook yeah so that was definitely not a good position for me if the opponent had played it in the better way but we can always go if 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 it all really depends on what the opponent does at the end of the day you know we're all grandmasters until we make the first move <laughs> okay so then they've got a fork but then it's almost like a give up move in a sense and then we've got the semi alakines gun going on rooks don't have any place in the center of the board unless of course it's to their benefit somehow but it's not supported with anything so we don't need to worry too much about that so then we can grab put check on still have the box clever and then we grab the unprotected queen so that was a nice bit of training exercise there we'll come back and do some more in uh, five minutes when i've lubricated the old throat okay continuing the training game um blitz training not too heavy a focus just uh, playing definitely analyzing just breaking down the concepts that we're using and just keeping it a bit relaxed and free just develop here spring this knight out supporting the pawn wants to get the knight off the board so let's just go here Attacking the bishop. What's the bishop done to you? Um, queenside castle. And let's capture. Not sure about. Um, still hunting for getting the fork with the knight. let's grab wanted my bishop to come off here let's attack the knight now still hunting for this but let's see if he wants to skedaddle now because basically we were both of the mindset yeah i was going to try and grab this pawn he wanted to get my bishop off of this line so he could get the fork here and so that's worked out quite nice and we can face off the king with the rook and just push this pawn his knight's going to come off or his knight was going to come back down move there a bit quick let's go here yes he has come back down for the bishop yeah he's gonna he's gonna feel really good now that he's at last got something some sort of compensation for the knight moves the knight moves which i think have lost them tempo in terms of developing yeah because he's now had to rush to go and castle it's lost a bit of a um, I'm hoping anyway let's just, just see if we can sneak in here sneak in here uh, doo -doo. come around the back got to be mindful he's going to come down for these pawns bishop's doing something at the minute and um, so our bishop is protected by the rook at the moment is he looking to block our or is he attacking I'm not sure Oh, he's got like a nice little situation going here sleeping rook my king can't move if he got some sort of activity luckily it's on dark square okay so phew, go there but his bishop takes oh there might be a situation where we can come in front of his bishop and get a check I don't think he's gonna fall for that though but we can give it a try can't we let's go oh we can't get away with it but i suppose we can take and he's still got this funky thing here but he's not got a dark square bishop so we don't need to panic so much it's taking the bishop off the board okay let's grab this then now he's looking to own a file it's coming down for here so I don't I don't think I want to give them it I think we need to just sit back and be patient now learn a bit of patience now he's blocked off this area here 
I'm not sure what's going to happen here now. I'm going to have to make it look like yeah. So he's got that pawn. So we can come here. Pawn for a pawn. King's protected by our own pawn. Is that? It's going crazy now. Let's go here. It's coming round the back for the pawns. Check on my king. No, not check on my king just yet. Um, let's move here. Let's put the check on. And let's attack the rook again. Let's go up. So I'm trying to practice the patience thing in this particular game now. So let's just push. And it's coming for my king, so my king can go to the side. Uh, he's not really going to stop this pawn, I don't think. Um, don't want to get rid of the rook, I suppose. I don't think he's stopping it though. Um, yeah, okay. King up. Got to be mindful of this pawn here. Oh, 22 seconds I'm on. Oh, dear me, I didn't realise that. Okay, come on. It's coming up for me. Oh, 16 seconds. How did that happen? Wrong place. How did that happen? Seriously, I was in the game. Oh, I'm trapped. <laughs> I'm trapped my rock. <laughs> Damn. Let's take that off. Oh my gosh. Trap my own rook. He's just going to have to take it, isn't he? It's, it's going to end up being a draw. Oh, it's not a draw. Damn, I timed out. Oh, but how did my time go down then? What did I spend so long on? <laughs> I thought I was doing all right. Oh, where's the thing? Analyze, analyze. Oh, that was freaky. What, what? Mind you, I've got to bear in mind it's only a three minute game. So let me see. What the heck was I spending all my time on? 233, 236, 2, 201, 15, 157, 156. Time's going down a bit there, but hold on. What did I spend all my time on? 140. No, we're still even there. 18 still even there right 114 I'm on 117 there on 59 seconds okay so I don't remember taking a long time over these moves in the end game 59 seconds we grabbed 54 And he's coming across 53. I can't believe I trapped my own rug, that's silly. I was supposed to be practicing patience and I totally messed it up. 42. 38. Oh, I, need, I needed to move like a bullet person then towards the end there. I genuinely didn't see my time running down at all. I think I was too blase because I thought, right, well, got a nice position, just taking it nice and easy, and I, I went into patience mode too much, I suppose. Damn. Okay, let's get another game going. That'll teach me patience. <laughs> nice training game so it helps you to just get rid of stuff that really does affect your game things like time management you know but I can get really engrossed in the games as well so that's why 
it will eat into my time because then I'll forget what sort of game I'm playing. You know, am I playing a long game? Am I playing a short game? Let's go here. Ooh, that's interesting. Let's go there. That's not doing much. It looks good, but it's not doing anything really. It's attacking the bish. Attacking the bishop again. What's the bishop done to you? Crikey. Let's go here. See if we can open up some space in front of the king. Ah, he's not doing that. Patience, but not too patient. Let's take this. Will I get that magic move? Will they give it to me? Please, come on, give me some luck today. So this person's playing patience as well. Sometimes patience is good. You know, if you're also looking at your clock and you're really trying to find that killer move. Let's grab this. And what sort of compensation? I'm actually going, oh, you stupid, too fast. This bishop's taking the pawn, isn't it? Eve. Oh, for crying out loud. Look how fast they move when they're onto something though, it's amazing. Oh, I let that slip through my fingers. And again, I should have just attacked this bishop. Uh, okay, let's attack the bishop. Focus. We are up the exchange, so short. Hmm, these bishops are a bit lethal, though, aren't they? Right, don't go too slow, don't be too patient. He's trying to utilize his poor majority, it's gonna kick our butt. Oh man, what's happening? doesn't want to exchange his bishops it's just going to sit in the middle here holding court or attacking something or whatever let's uh oh it's causing trouble man it's causing trouble if i take then if i take i'm gonna to have to go like this if I took his bishop comes in and it's attacking the rook, rook really doesn't have any way, it goes into the centre of the board, I'm not into playing that just yet. Oh, he's blocked his, um, let's grab here. Okay, so now he's just uh, blocking off, see if we can double up before he gets all these down, let's attack, attack, attack. defending but we just want to get stuff off the board now we get the bishop as well Whew, last minute position play it's not over yet though I don't know why I'm going for you but let's grab this celebrate afterwards uh, pawn is coming down I bet there's some trouble coming here somehow oh maybe not let's grab It's got my pawn, dude. Damn. This shouldn't be happening in 56 seconds. Come on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's... It's gonna get me with these damn pawns. Oh, I don't believe it.
Oh, do you know what? I'm taking it. Unbelievable. Shabby, shabby, shabby. Shabby, 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 shabby. Damn, five seconds is just going to get me checkmated now. That's just terrible rubbish. Zero. Ooh, come on. Yes, we won on time. <laughs> what? Analyze that. Analyze that. My gosh. Ending was rubbish. I mean, yeah, you win, but that's not the point. Let's get right back. All that is okay. I don't care about any of that. We did fine, we did fine, we did fine. Now the ending. It must have been ours to take. Ooh, look at that. Draw minus one. Ooh, cracky minuses. Minuses all over. Ooh, we weren't in good shape, were we? Zeros minus one again. <gasps> Oh, plus two we got and we messed it up I bet you big style so we grabbed plus three something what went wrong so we doubled up what's wrong with doubling up what's it saying rook h6 I ain't playing that what's that about no what's wrong with this move Capturing, yeah, yeah, okay, so now we're buzzing. We're absolutely winning. What did I, why did I mess it up? So they pushed the pawn down. We grabbed. Nothing wrong with that. Put a check on the king. Maybe we didn't really need to, yeah, put a check on the king. We get a pawn. So we should be winning here now. So why did I get into such a flap? Look at that, we're out and out winning. They've moved the bishop down, they're going to take the pawn. We put a check on, it's saying that you don't have a problem with that. Oh no! Checkmate in one. Where? Rook e5. Did I not do that at some stage? Or well, maybe not. Damn! What a move, checkmate! <laughs> right in front of my face, and then they're just whipping stuff off. I did it too late. That move, one move too late. So we're still winning here. I'm doing some rubbish moves. Oh my gosh, look at that! And I just, I got fed up. I thought, well, got to be able to win on time here. They've only got a few seconds left. And then the panic set in when they did get a queen. Oh, one move away from checkmate. Need to really just tone it down a bit more. I get these nice positions. Just got to be able to finish that baby. Right, let's get another one in. This is why we do training. Let's create. Okay, off we go. Okay, I can work with that. Let's uh, bring this bishop out. Let's get this bishop out if we can. X-ray. Nice doubling. And king safety. All pretty normal. It's attacking. Um, I think I am actually going to take. And then attack the bishop take the bishop off the board not really playing with that and let's just protect our pawn here for a moment and shall we push onto this pawn and grab and then he's got a fork on our rook mm. interesting times eh? interesting times got a fork on the rook bum, bum, bum. queen comes up bishop goes and attacks the rook okay so I'll, I'll let him have the plus one 
he can have the plus one let's go for this rook see what the knight wants to do I don't know if yeah let's grab here on the pawn he's looking for a check on the king here but uh, he's gonna have to move first okay so he's on this pawn bishops protecting let's grab this one but rook is coming straight down to it no he's not so he's giving up his bishop for a better position his knight sorry for a better position uh, his rooks come down I'm really wanting to get to this square this and this here but I want to try and do it stealthily uh, do -do -do. Let's attack this and then we have the diagonal here and hopefully get this in. Okay, let's just bring this here. Fingers crossed it works, but it might not. He might just drop his pawn because it's got the support from his rook here. Uh, he's um, blocked it off before it started. <clears throat> so we could bring the rook here and just challenge it. So we do have the continuous threat going on. Well, not for long, <laughs> uh, but we do have check and then queen here. And we still have that potential threat situation. So it's either doing this, yeah. And then here, then his queen defends. Gotta be careful, back ranker. Is there a back ranker coming on? Let's go here anyway. So he's gonna have to do something to defend it. So his queen's probably coming here. That's the only piece that can actually defend it, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So we're up a minor minor piece at the well at the moment. Which is the bishop. So his queen has to go there. We could go here to put another check on. Then if his queen drops back, then we take his queen for free because his queen's not gonna go there. Am I missing something? His rook can't go back, so I think I'm gonna go here with a check. His king can't come up, so his queen, only piece that can block it is the queen. Small detail, unless of course I'm missing something, he comes down, check where the queen can't get there, yep. Looks like the signal's gone. I might need some more water. Wow, these training games are really interesting. Excellent, okay. I think we talked through that one, but I have to keep moving my head. I'm going to put my head somewhere else. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the middle. Uh, okay, yeah, quick shifty at that. Just make sure. Ooh, crack if what that was a sort of simple targeting capturing not minding doubling the pawns castling and looking objectively at the captures and feeling that there's a little bit more weight in terms of being able to if his bishop takes his bishop is in a square it doesn't really want to be in then we can look to attack the bishop he may not want his bishop taking so he's going to move it or it's going to do some other move that he didn't really want to do which is upsetting his system he's having to react to what i'm doing and as black that's a really positive thing because black goes second so we attack the bishop and he moves his knight so it might have been a crucial tempo that they lost so we'll start attacking through the center oh that was a big jump totally missed whatever that was anyway our focal point was on this square here in front of the king from this moment on and we just try to find ways to get towards it and we maintained not making it obvious but you could tell that the opponent knew exactly what we were trying to do so they've tried to block it off so it's making them do stuff again that they don't really want to do so then we can take with the check and reassess this position and see what is the actual winning move and selecting the right move not panicking and just taking the queen off the board we wouldn't have been in a bad state i don't think it's just that this was a quicker way of getting a an advantage in the game 
Okay, so that's nice practice. Um, I'm gonna cut, take another break and now come back and play some more because um, this is the blitz hour. I don't know if I've gone past the hour or not, maybe half an hour or something. Oh, we're up. Okay, so this, the last two games will take us to the hour, I believe. Well, depending on how long the last. Let's just push here. They've been really interesting games. I do like practicing. And let's go here. Ooh, excuse me. Um, take with the pawn. Nice doubling. And we can bring this out because this pawn is protecting this square. Bring the bishop out. And I don't want to get caught in anything, so let's castle. It's always worrying when you see people pushing pawns and they've got the pieces out, and then you forget to castle because you're trying to block them off. Just simple capture, and let's just attack this knight. I'm not sure he's going to take but I think he's going to be fancy and arty and come here. Fancy and arty. Yes, he, he didn't look like he was going to take so he's, he's gone back. Um, can bring the bishop here for him to take. Because he's holding this pawn to ransom. Don't like being held to ransom. I'm going to attack the bishop while well, I'm thinking. And if the bishop comes off, and I'm just gonna place this bishop here, then we can just block this pawn off with this pawn. It doesn't do any of that. So it's being a bit arty to me. It's like um, basically just doing the mistake to take type thing, ne never having to take, but he's losing out in position a bit like in the last game or the one before where they're going to be down the exchange doesn't mean you've won the game because they do get a piece back don't they before we rush there is there anything else no nah, let's just take it's on a white square with his queen do, do, do. we did said we was going to, going to just i don't really see a problem with this oh the only problem is it's got this here so i'm going to attack the knight first with the smaller piece And then we can attack and also attack. I'll take the queen. I'm thinking I'm keeping the bishop on the board, you know. But no, let's just take it. Takes with the rook because he's defending the pawn try and double up on this pawn is to protect him with his knight could come here smaller piece attacking a higher piece protected here protected here not protected here though so he's probably looking to come and sit here putting a check on our king um could bring this rook here in the meantime to keep this blocked down yes then his knight comes down attacks the pawn Seem to be creating havoc with that knight. Go there. This might be one of those situations where you should have just kept the bishop on the board. Yes, he's going there. Uh, no, so he's going back up. So his rook is. Oh. If we go there, his rook comes down. Bang. And then that's like. No, it's not checkmate. I can take his knight off the board. Let's attack it. Comes back again. Gives the time to double. I feel like I'm going to get a fork. He's going to get a massive fork on me here. Let's go and attack the pawn. So if we take, he takes this pawn, but then we take his rook. Yeah. Okay, take. Oh, 
or does he have a whirlwind? He takes, we take, he takes the pawn, he's on my rook, bring the rook down. Oh, come on, give me some, give me a break. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Is there some, oh, come on. So I come down, does he have another check on me? Come on, no, the cap possible. They want 21 seconds, they're running down. Um, check on the king. Oh, I can't believe this. Check on the king. Oh, this is sad. 19 seconds. Oh, I'm down on time. Oh, down on time check. Shut up. 12 seconds, not going to do it. I'm overthinking. I'm overthinking the situation. Ah, too much, too much. It's too much. It's got checkmate on me. Oh my god. I can't believe that. Oh my dears, I cannot believe that. That is disgusting. I'm not even looking at the analysis on that. That was a clear out and out win for me and I totally messed it up. Oh my gosh. That's terrible. Right, next one. No, that was rubbish. So, well, this is the last one, isn't it? Because I said about... Although that did end a bit quick. Ah, oh, dear me. It's that ending fluster. I don't know why I get end the ending fluster. What is the point? You know, I'm winning, so I should just chill. But they seem to just, I seem to give them the opportunity to come back into the game. It's not that they're brilliant, it's just that they they get the opportunity to come back in. I need to practice that skill in being keeping the advantage nice and solidly without even looking like there's any panic or anything. Just nice and steady play. When you're up, you're up. Don't lose that momentum. Just keep it nice and steady. That's the, just winning on time all the time. You know, it's no good to me. Let's take this bishop. He's not got protection on. And let's push here. Keep them pawns doubled. Rooks don't have any place in the center of the board. So I need to be... Uh, you know what just take it I'm gonna have to defend this pawn now I'll just block his rook off it's attacking the bishop oh I've lost my pawn as well oh no no I lost that rook <laughs> oh dear me oh, I don't believe what's happening Yeah, his rook's all the way back there though, so I'm getting a queen, aren't I? So I, I can't mourn too much. Ah, dear me. Oh, I've left the pawn. Good job, this is the last game, isn't it? Must be a check on the king. go mm -hmm. right this is case in point isn't it I've got the advantage don't let it go just look like I'm a professional like I know what I'm doing you know
that's the last one so out of all of that training we eventually got the correct answer which was the patient side of things we just need to basically not be so cool because we're giving them the advantages at the end of the game when we've got advantages we need to keep that advantage and not be so patient we have to basically grab this situation and keep hold of the advantage and utilize the concepts that we know rather than giving the advantage back to the player that's the most annoying thing about the game that we play so let's keep that maintaining that was a good training session keeping the advantage all the way through right through to the end game nice one okay so just practicing the lessons learned from the last blitz training session because as we said blitz and bullet aren't my bag but now i'm changing my mindset and i'm basically saying okay i know it's not my bag but we we're starting to enjoy playing the game so let's see if we can at least make a half valiant effort at playing these games properly and the only the only thing at the minute that lets me down is the losing the advantage so that was born out of the training exercises that we just did is that yes we get advantageous positions but then there's this fussy fluffy situation when we do have the advantage and the clock's ticking down and then suddenly out of the blue the opponent has the advantage or we've lot we've given it to them they've not done anything magical but they just seem to be tearing away with the um, situation so we want to try and knock that on the head and we want to be cool hand Luke when it comes to these end games I'm pushing onto the bishop here don't need to overthink that do I? no maybe not today Let's go here, it's going for a cheap. Still cheap. Yeah, still cheap. Uh, he's got my rook, but it don't mean anything just because he got the rook. At all. Well, he's got combinations coming out of his ring here combinations all over the place interesting it's moving a bit a bit quick that way Let's see what you've got then you up the exchange but what does it really mean Are your pieces working together? No, not yet. And let's give that a little touch. See you later. Yeah, so it's moving quick, but I don't really think I'm a fan of his style. Because they are single, they're not it's not like a combination that's working his pieces together so I don't like his style I'm not a fan here we go yep Okay, like I said, not a fan. Do, 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 do. Mm hmm. Okay, 
Okay, it's getting it's getting closer. It's getting closer to the finalization. All for a pawn. This is where the issues lie. Take the pawn, take the pawn, take the pawn, take the pawn, don't think, don't think, don't think. Your oh, eyes thinking. <sighs> we almost had him. Boom 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 boom. Boom 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 boom. Boom 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 boom. What you got, what you got, what you got? Gotta look like it got a draw to me. Looks like a little bit of a draw to me, eh? Mr. Background Checkmater. Freefold, yes it is freefold. I shall click it. Boom boom. There. So that's how you get a draw out of a not very good type of situation. I wasn't a fan of the opponent's movements, uh, but it doesn't mean that I w thought I could win. It was just a matter of, well, there were single attacks. I didn't really have anything clear and I probably didn't take advantage as best possible of his single attack system. Just take, 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 tuck in the smaller piece, trying to get the pieces in there. So he did something. I mean, he got, he was up the exchange, but like I said, just because you were up the exchange, it genuinely doesn't mean you've won the game. You still, because what you've done is you've exchanged a piece for a piece at the end of the day, you know? So you can quite freely give up a rook for a knight or a bishop, you know? And so you've exchanged a piece for a piece. You might do that on purpose. So it's not clear cut just because you up the exchange that you've won. So you really have to knock that bit on the head. It all comes clearer if it's end game and you've got the two rooks and you've got a beautiful position for them, the owning files, etc. working together. That's when they're in their element. But start middle of the game, hmm, I wouldn't lose too much sleep over it because you've got plenty of time and opportunity to really get a good position on the board with the pieces that you've got I mean this is case in point I mean it's got like black is out and out winning here so we're just dancing looking to try and get some sort of um, stalemate situation not stalemate but a drawn position and we did so the opponent allowed us that situation so that's annoying for them and that's the type of stuff we're trying to work on is that this opponent had massive advantage that's like me when I have a massive advantage in the game when I look at the evaluation and somehow it just disappears and take case in point in this one here if we have a look at what the opponent did they went greedy munching for a pawn that was okay because they're still winning at this moment because now they're going for the back rank checkmate but in essence they probably needed to sit back a little bit more and realized that our queen could actually go for repetition with the queen rook e6 it's saying and where's the rook e6 that almost looks like repetition in its own right <laughs> so we'll go back here um well then the king can come here so it's it's winning some sort of tempo then his king is safe i can't harass it now on the diagonal so that's all they really had to do so that's helping me to understand as well you know this is how we lose those advantages just make sure that you've got everything signed off we're always so urgent to go for that back rank checkmate type thing you know because it really does look juicy but we've really got to look on the back end of things and not allow the opponent this which is us the repetition nice good game that yeah nice one educational for myself I'm going to play another one just to get some practice in on that I'm going to play another one so I get some practice on that as well so I'm just going to take a break okay so we're back on again attempting to keep the advantage could have taken that <laughs> 
idea of me. <laughs> so busy looking in the centre of the board. <laughs> now that's just terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> I mean, miss opportunities like that. <laughs> oh, now it's going to just wipe the floor with us, isn't it? Let's go here. <laughs> oh dear me. Okay, now we can take it. Looks like they're just giving up already. <laughs> Special. Well, that one did make me chuckle. Fair enough. Okay, we'll claim victory on that one. Let's go jumping in on another one. Okay, so maintaining advantages. We do know we tend to get advantages in games. In certain ones, we, uh, we're on the back foot. But more, majority of the games we play, we do get an advantage in, which is a good thing. But it's being able to maintain that with a cool head, cool play, and just a totally relaxed sort of sensation about the game. And holding that advantage without panicking. You know, not like I'm not panicking like that, but you know, obviously something is panicking in order for the put. I'm giving these advantages back. So it is quite annoying. So there's some sort of panic thing going on in that situation. So we need to reduce that and get rid of it as best possible. So tack, got a two on one here. It's not a favor, it's not super position even if we do get the knight off the ball because in essence, it still has this sort of attack towards the king Gary. just take leave it there now he's got this like we said so I'm gonna continue the attack he may go there if he does bring it back it doesn't interesting bring the knight back then queen move is queenside castling okay so you can't do that we could do that we've got three two pieces there we've got the knight and the queen and if he drops we've got the knight and the knight and the bishop so he may as well just take hadn't he if we take with the knight we're on the pawn but it's easily defended hate doing stuff that's eat you know ends up being easily defended so if we tick with the queen then obviously it's a queen exchange we're looking for then we end up there then the bishop has to go back i feel better about that one i think so i think i'll just take with the queen so we're gonna have to face this at some point he's wanting to queenside castle he might just queenside castle anyway so we'll just take the bishop off the board but he's gonna be feeling really good he's got this type of situation going on with the drop here yeah so he's got all his pieces in the right position for attacking the king area for using the answer i was really aren't in that state yet we've got a few moves yet before we're attacking the king area like they are they've gone right into the tank though you know this is the cool thing that i'm talking about you know players just take the time in like a, a fast game you know like blitz you know they take the time and they're chilling and you're going man how do you do it and then they start bullying it bullying out the moves oh he might have left the game maybe it was too much okay i might have to go into the site uh, i'm not saying that the players on anonymous are easy they're not always easy you don't know who you're playing i've played some really strong players i play rich from that I played some really strong players on the anonymous thing. They've wiped the floor with me completely. And then you get the ones that do the strange stuff like in these last two here. Um, so what I'll do is I'm going to sign back in and just get some more practice done on the trying to keep the advantage. So just hold your horses. Okay, so we've come back into the site and um, just practice this um, keeping the advantage situation 
let's just attack here let's grab here and then we want to picture when it is that things start going wrong I believe we just bring the knight here now don't want to over and they move there dead quick Whee. don't really need to protect that pawn do I because nothing's attacking it don't want to do a wasted move castle let's take this knight off the board queen's gonna take I'm going to attack the queen just to develop this knight yeah okay that seems okay it's always chomping at the bit to go and get the bishop but if we go here it just drops the pawn so we can sit here quite nicely I think it's moving dead quick to face this pawn knight's protecting nobody's protecting it now it's moving so fast just bring this rook here try and own the file it's attacking the bishop attacking this pawn let's take there I'm hoping he's falling into this situation of moving fast but not really working any pieces together this is just like it's like lightning let's go here don't mind having this pawn over here so we'll go and attack the bishop let's attack the bishop because this pawn doesn't have any oh but my knight's trapped so you don't celebrate in those situations at least I know but I can actually take another piece off the board so that's my compensation for that okay right so could push on but then he pushes down and could try and own the file try and own the file knight's protecting this at the minute um, let's attack the pawn not ignoring that this pawn is being under attack let's grab this could have pushed up but I'm thinking it's a dark square bishop let's push the pawn here attempt to double up no major advantage I don't see at the minute let's try and uh, double up rook in the center of the board doesn't put a check on and it's got to be something with the knight now or is he going to be blocking my rook in with his bishop I'm going to bring the rook back just in case oh god I'm on 58 seconds oh dear me how is that possible I feel like I'm moving not too bad oh now it's starting isn't it now it's starting okay it's starting to kick off now 43 seconds and I don't think that's anything is it right after bullet 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 Ooh, there, there. comes round for our pawn oh and he gets it Damn. Do -do -do. 28 seconds
Uh, ran out of time. How I t again? That's another game where I don't. I didn't see where my time went. My time seems to just go down dead quick. I must be spending some thinking time somewhere, or, or missing the fact that they've done a move. Yeah, that's concerning. Let's go again. So that's two games where I've not really known, noticed that the time has gone down. Right, let's go again. And I think it's probably when, you know, I was saying that they were moving fast and then I was searching for my moves. I suppose that ate into the time. I didn't feel like I was taking that long. Obviously I was. Let's go here. Bishop. Queen. There we go. Attacking the pawn. Obviously it's a bit of a loose attack. Stop castling anyway it's taken the loose pawn Gonna get that in. It's nothing major. Maybe not. Let's give it some of that. Has he got a check on a major piece? That's the thing he's looking for. Can his knight put a check on my king or can he take my queen? He can come here. So that's what he's probably gonna plump for. He's not doing that. Oh going for this instead oops excuse me oh I've given my rock up I've given my rock up that's trying to catch up with time oh, I gave my rock up oh, are we going to get this in it's oh it's not going to allow us ok I thought I was getting the rook off the board That's gonna hurt. That is gonna hurt. Got this rook here, don't forget. Ooh, that is gonna hurt. My gosh. It's all over me now. What can I do? Oh, the only thing that can go is the queen. Oh, savage. I am getting mashed so what I need to do is forget about thinking about getting the advantage and just start playing the game now because I'm losing out on time because I'm trying I'm thinking don't lose the advantage don't lose the advantage and really that's just affecting my game so I just need to play my game and these guys are getting some positions that I wouldn't normally let them get let's go in and play our proper game now off we go let's just relax and just play the game okay just push through the center let's attack
I did that for a reason. And I can't quite remember what it was. Now it's put me in a bit of a bad situation. Oh, you know, I thought I was going here, didn't I? Where the back, back rank checkmate, but he has his extra rook. That's why I went into, oh, I've got this covered. Now I've lost my rook. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, yeah. Well, at least I know why I did it. I thought, I thought, I, ooh, shaka raka da. <laughs> oh, this is getting worse. <laughs> oh, okay, come on. Redemption. I know I can do it. <laughs> Let's keep plotted through. I don't know why they took so long over that. It's pretty obvious that they were going there. <laughs> pieces on there I've only got one which is the knight you have to take him a time saw the gold of going through to get the rook 
That's a waste. Although he's not done that, he's just done for a pawn. I suppose he's getting my rook as well, isn't it? Oh, or the bishop. Oh, 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 I tell you, uh, maybe I just need to stop playing now. Dear, 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 with me. You're joking me, aren't you? Could have gone for a simple check and got the pawn off as well. I tell you, there's something not right going on here. Oh no, he's got check. No, he hasn't. All I had to do was bring this rook here. Why have I come with a fancy bishop move here? Oh, no, 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 no. This rook's coming. And I'm done for, so I need to go like this. Move here. One twenty, one twenty, one twenty. Okay. Interesting. Oops. <laughs> Ups and downs of chess, eh? Next opponent. Let's get this training in. Come on. Oops. Interesting situation, not. Oh, thought it was uh, going to be protecting, but let's go there. <laughs> oh, 
gonna lose on time, uh, damn, too slow, too slow. This is one of those where it's like, it keeps pressing and gonna lose out on that going through this pawn here, opening up when I didn't really need to open up, but, and I can't get around the back really, so what am I doing? <laughs> Go there. So even if I went there, his bishop's protecting, so what's the point? Maybe getting this rook behind and then putting pressure on this pot rook. Let's go with go with that. It's something. He just drops back. No, he doesn't. Let's attack it, see what he wants to do. So he's allowed us round the back, but there's not a lot we can do really. Attack this pawn, his king just defends. Um, attack the king king just attacks squeeze in here with a bit of protection attacking both take one but what what else is the bit of a check on the king um, bit of a check on the king take his bishop with a check and come and attack the pawn again he's going to come down here dude Dude, ah, ah, look, he's seen it. God damn it. Lost the advantage. His rook comes flying down. Ah, I can't protect. Check. Protect the pawn. One minute, 15. This is the panic zone mode now. His, his king can't come there. We could take the pawn, but then he takes ours. No, I'm, I don't really want to give him anything. Push. Uh, push. Oh no, Bishop. And he's got the other pawn. No, we can't be having this. We cannot be having this. Um, What do I do? What do I do? People, what do I do? Oh, I'm taking this. check on it's got the back pole takes um oh shh 42 seconds takes push push and push grab Square Bishop has got to do something. It's got to save the day. Come across. Right. No messing about now. Come on, losing the advantage again. seconds what's going on here I can't believe it, I totally messed that up. Should have brought the king here. This is getting really frustrating. Damn. These players aren't even that good as well and I'm letting them come back every time. That's so annoying. That's so annoying. Yeah. 
Whoa, is that freezing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Take the pawn, take the pawn, queen. Go on, quick, quick. Move as fast as you were moving before. Queen, take the pawn, take the pawn. Nah, you're not gonna wait. Two pawns, you can take them or that one there. Okay.
had the last week one more on time <coughs> let's get back in Lightning speed. Still going for it. Hmm. Still going for it. The knight and the bishop for a rook. Crikey. In a blitz match. Maybe not, maybe not. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I should stop there now. That was a, a very good blitz session and showing increased performance obviously with the numbers on there um, but really getting more comfortable with the trying to keep the advantage. I think I have to warm up. Um, <laughs> I think I mentioned that before especially when I'm playing the longer games. I think it's um, is it a maximum of three or minimum of three games to actually warm up so within blitz i should warm up maybe about 10 games or something before i actually start playing proper so yeah that was an interesting exercise and um, we didn't do, go through evaluation of the last ones because the evaluation 
at this stage is just covering the fact of losing the advantages that you gain and so we need to get rid of that annoying factor no matter what the opponent's throwing at you don't care if they're using an engine whatever it is fair you know i'm not going to know until the end or during the game where i feel there's a shift but i've got to learn to deal with that on the system and i've got to be able to put in my best game most of the time i'm allowing the opponent to gain back the advantage it's not that they're doing supremo moves i am allowing them to do that and i need to stop that and look at what it is and it's usually simple things don't over press have a look at what the opponent can actually do to you block it off especially when it's getting towards the end game and you feel like you're winning and you feel like you want to press no sit back and look at what it is the opponent can do to you because it's usually that move that is the game changer